What is going on out there, YouTube and Facebook, everybody out there in digital world? And if it looks like I'm in a different uh, location today, that's because I am. I'm on, actually on the front porch of my cabin instead of at my house. And finally dried up enough here the last week or so to get all my mowing and uh, get caught up on my bush hogging. So I got everything uh, looking good now that it's dry enough um but you know what sometimes in spiritual life uh things go a little dry too and we go through these dry seasons that's why as a pastor it's often our job to keep people motivated to do right and live right and that's why we're often talking about apathy and ignorance you know you got to stay in the word so you don't get ignorant of what it says and you got to keep going and going and going and limp it across that uh, finishing line so you don't get apathetic. And I once asked a guy if he knew what the difference was between uh, ignorance and apathy, and he said, well, I don't know, and I don't care. And he was exactly right, because that's what a, uh, ignorance and apathy says. I don't know, and I don't care. Well, the Bible speaks to this issue. Ephesians 5, 15 and 16 says, Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of the time, because the days are evil. And I like the way the, the New King James actually says that. It says uh, to walk circumspectly. Circum like a circle and, you know, spectly like spectacles or a spectacle. It just means to walk a look and all the way around you. Watch your, your, your 360. And yes, the de days are evil like it says and we're living in some dangerous times, but try to make the best of it anyway okay you gotta watch out all around you okay lies are gonna be flying at you all day long you gotta watch where you walk and how you walk and you gotta stay focused and make best use of the time again Ephesians 5 15 and 16 says look carefully how you walk not as unwise but as wise making the best use of the time because the days are evil. That's your front porch devotion for this weekend. Hope you're having a uh, great day and happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. And we will see you later.